Welcome to this video where we're going to be looking at DeepSeek and seeing whether the new DeepSeek V3 is actually as good as something like Sonnet. Now, the reason for this is because it's likely to be almost free forever. And what I mean by almost free is like it, it's negligible. So if I go in here, you can see I spent 18 cents and this was like me using a lot and a, a lot of tokens, right? So 73 API requests, you know, 1.4 million tokens, cost is 0 0.18. So it's not quite free, but 0 0.18 for an app, right? Instead of right now, Gemini is 0 0.01 for an app. It's very, very good. But like, you need to look at longevity, right? If you want to make an app, for example, that creates apps, you can't base it on Gemini because Gemini tomorrow could cost the same as, you know, Sonic 3.7, right? So let's take a look at it for content writing and also for coding in today's video. And the reason, like I said, that I'm doing this is because in my opinion, Gemini will very, very soon start costing a lot of money and probably won't be worth it anymore. Now, if you don't know, I have set up a school. Inside the school is basically AI Development Basics, which goes through all of the basics that you would need to do what we're showing you in this video. And then the other thing that's really, really cool is all of my prompts in one place, but not just all of my prompts in one place, all of my prompts in one place with SOPs, right? So instead of having to, you know, go through 10 different videos to understand something, you can just go on school now. I'll leave a link to it in the description and just get everything that you need from it. The cost is $49 a month. There is also a weekly call with me where we'll just have some coffee and have a chat and you can ask me anything. This is a new thing that I'm just getting into, guys. You know, be nice about it. Feel free to call me a dickhead if you want. But I'll tell you right now, I'm already using my own school, okay? Because, for example, I want to test this right here, how good it is at creating a service-based website. So I can just use the SOP right here instead of having to uh, get the commands from ChatGPT or whatever it might be. So the first one here is just creating the app, right? I don't want to call it my next app, but it got stuck. So I'll just call it that. Press enter a few times and we'll go through the SOP. So open the folder in Visual Studio Code. It's the second part of the SOP, right? So once this is finished installing, we need to go to file, open folder and open the folder, which should be called my app, right? So this will be done in a second. There we go. File, open folder, my app. There we go. Select, um, open the public folder, right? So app. There is no public folder. I believe it's inside app, so we'll just add public. I'll change this SOP slightly to, to follow this. Uh, actually, I don't think it is. I think it's just here, right? Um, and then inside here, we have images. And then you just need to put all of the images that you want to use for this project, right? Okay, so now this has these images. Let's see if there's any other steps here. Drag and drop all the images, change my next app to, okay, so I just need the prompt now. Perfect. So I'll grab the prompt here and we're going to be using Klein for this. So we'll go to settings here and we'll go to DeepSeek, right? We're going to be using DeepSeek directly just because I think it's just a little bit better. DeepSeek chat, perfect. And then we'll change plan mode to use um, DeepSeek reasoning. There we go. And then we'll use the plan mode here, which is going to give this this prompt. You would have to change things normally, but the website I'm trying to make is this website. So it's fine. And we should just be able to hit enter here. And while that's doing that, we're actually going to do another test at the same time, which is seeing how good it is at content writing, right? So we'll go to chat.deepseek.com this time while this is working away. And we'll do we'll compare everything at the end and we'll see how it does, right? Um, I don't know if I need to put DeepSeek on, or sorry, R1 on. I don't think I will. So let's just go back to my school. Again, you can get all these prompts for free in previous, um, in, in previous videos that I've done, but I'm just using my own school because I've got access to it. It's free and it has all my prompts in a really easy to find, um, Kind of order right so we'll go to docs here and we'll just uh docs.new and we'll paste this prompt this is the prompt here you can follow the sop it's pretty easy though to be honest with you i'm not gonna go through it in this video how to do all this stuff um i've been through it in so many videos and also it's in the sop in the school if you need it 
Same up the XML. I will just quickly talk about what I'm doing though. So I'm going to open up collections here. Uh, I don't like paywalling stuff. So all of this stuff is already free. It's just the school puts it in a nice digestible format, right? So control A, control C here in internal links. I'm going to put all of the internal links here. Uh, the reason for this is because collections are the things that you probably want to have internal links to. Control Shift V into the XML tags of internal links, right? And that should load. There we go. And then we put image embeds. Uh, it's running a bit slow just because that's such a big file. We'll go to slash collection, oops, slash collections, slash suits, right? And we'll drag down from the first suit down to the last suit. Control C to copy, go to paste to mark down like that. First one, Control V to paste, Control A, Control C to copy. And then inside image embeds, Control Shift V, and then we paste that. Now Control A, Control C. Now we send this to DeepSeek. And we'll see, uh, okay, so there's too many collections here. So we'll just delete some collections. That's fine. There are probably too many collections here. So instead of using this, what we'll do is we'll use uh, sitemap to clipboard and we'll just get the relative um, uh, URLs here, right? And we'll just change these to relative URLs because it uses a lot less um, tokens, right? So this should be page three. There it is. So shift, click, control shift V. This should be a little bit more manageable for deep sea. So let's see. Okay, wait, let's just start a new chat. And some nice. So just hopping back to the code here, it's done the first bit of planning here. I'm just saying everything is up to you, right? I want it to plan everything. I don't want it to rely on me for anything. The reason I'm doing that is because this is how I always do this test to see how good the model is at creating things without too many instructions, right? So I don't want to propose a color scheme. I don't want to do any of this. I want it to do all of this itself. I will say right now, this is looking pretty damn good with the um, reasoning model. Uh, you can see here, deep seek reasoner for the plan mode. This is looking pretty damn good to be honest with you. So now I'm just going to hit act here. And if this is capable of creating something that's close to what we need, almost for free, so we're talking like, you know, under $1 for an, an entire website. And it's always going to be that case. It's not going to just suddenly go up to, you know, a thousand, um, yeah, $15 every million output tokens or whatever, like Gemini will. Okay. So that's why I'm making this video because if, like DeepSeek is the one that will basically always be free. So we need to see whether it's actually good to use. And you can use this completely for free if it was on your computer as well. So in terms of content, this doesn't look too great, to be honest with you. I, I like the structure generally, but like it's way too short and it's just, it's just not really good enough, uh, to be honest with you. So in terms of content, I wouldn't say this is going to be like something that I'm going to be looking at in much more detail. This content doesn't seem, it's not very long, you know, it's used the images and things. Maybe there's like a limit to the chat version of DeepSeek, right? I mean, the way it's used, this would rank on Google. I, I'm pretty sure this would rank on Google. It's a very, very short article, but you would want it to be a little bit longer, right? You wouldn't want it to be this short. This is a little bit too short for um a full-blown article let's just see just because i'm curious if it even passes originality uh 1.0 which i doubt if you don't know there are two there's light and then there's turbo so i'm just going to use light because if it doesn't pass light it's not gonna it's not gonna pass turbo either so we'll just let we'll see how this does so you can see once i move this to act mode it changed to deep seek chat this is a really really good way of doing things because you're using the you're using the reasoning model for reasoning steps, right? And then you're using the um, the chat model for the actual coding part. Yeah, so it didn't even pass uh, light 1.00. So for content writing, I wouldn't say it's quite there yet. One couple of things I would say is probably this has a max tokens, which if you're using it in the API can almost definitely be changed, right? I don't think you can change it here, uh, which is unfortunate, but if you can change this and it has more output tokens, this isn't a complete waste. It uses, um, internal links and images properly. It's just, it's not long enough. So as long as you can get it to be long enough, this is definitely worth our time. 
Okay, so before we look at the result from DeepSeek, I just want to show you what um, Claude Sonnet 3.7 came up with using pretty much exactly the same methodology, right? And you can see it's really, really nice, beautiful font, beautiful animation, beautiful coloring. Basically, everything is perfect here, right? Really good SEO, et cetera, et cetera. Everything is, is good here. Now, one thing I've noticed with DeepSeek is it says task completed far too quickly and far too often. This is pretty frustrating, to be honest with you, and I, I don't like this. This might be a prompting issue. It might be something that we could fix with prompting, but yeah, we, I'm just not sure at, at this moment in time. Yeah, so you can see, again, it keeps doing this thing where every time it does like a small task, it assumes that it's finished the entire task. This is quite common um, with DeepSeek, but not very common with other ones. Um, so you do have to kind of guide it a little bit more. So I'm just going to say keep going. It's almost like, oh, <laughs> that's the thumbnail for this video. It's almost like uh, vibe coding, chaos coding, right? Let's just see what it's got so far. So let's do npm run dev. I do want to... Um, yeah, obviously it didn't work. That's fine, this will be quite an easy fix, I think. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll just send this to uh, DeepSeek and just get it to fix this. Oh, okay. Oh, I was wrong uh, with my video the other day about DeepSeek. This is, this is really nice. This looks amazing. Uh, I'm, I'm sure all of these are placeholder, etc. but like this is something that can obviously be added later, blah, blah, blah. But like overall, this design is phenomenal and it costs overall 10 cents. Um, yeah, shit. This is better than I was expecting. Um, for some reason though, npm run dev doesn't work, but instead you have to do start local host. So I'm not really sure what kind of project I've been given here. Pretty sure it's supposed to be a Next.js app. It does look like a Next.js app. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm really, really happy with the result here. This is not what I was expecting. And yeah, I mean, it's, it definitely needs some changes. There's definitely a few things that need doing. It doesn't seem to be like, like I'm not sure how the project's set up, um, to be honest with you. But the language switcher works, all that good stuff. And to be honest with you, it looks, it looks phenomenal. It looks, it looks almost as good as the, uh, the, the real one, the live one that was made by Sonnet. So yeah, I think I was wrong about DeepSeek. I think I cast it to one side a little bit too quickly. I think there's definitely something that could, you know, potentially work here. Um, and yeah, I mean, I think this is, this is really, really good, to be honest with you. Uh, I just need to test this, though, properly. So I just want to see why npm run dev isn't working. Let's just have a quick look. Do I have... How are these all in use? I'm so confused. Okay, look, I'm going to end this video here. I think this has potential. However, there is also the fact that it does get stuck. It's not as good. There's definitely some problems here. Something is broken here. I can't even get on the website anymore. However, what I saw originally was good enough for me to release this video and say with some confidence that DeepSeek is making moves here. And they are going to be the cheapest way to build websites very, very soon. I'm going to come up with some, some SOPs. I'm going to add them to the school. Make sure to sign up for the school if you want to keep up to date with that. And also, of course, they'll be on the channel as well. Everything you need is in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of this video, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.